Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Schneider and this past summer I worked as a branding intern for the Cortland County Cornell Cooperative Extension. I'm extremely grateful to have worked right at the intersection of my three academic interests and areas of study, sustainability, communication, and business. At the end of the summer, I reflected back on the tasks I had completed along the way, and one overlying theme truly stood out to me, the commonality tying all the steps of this project together, research, which is what I'm going to focus on today. Upon beginning my internship, my supervisor Dana and I discussed the overall goal and challenge motivating the project. Increase the purchasing of local Cortland agriculture products. How do we motivate people to buy local Cortland products over other options? How do we alter consumer behavior? These were the key questions to consider. Advertising the products with bigger signs to grab attention, brighter colors, fancy labels would not do the trick. Rather, the best approach to tackle this challenge was through branding. And how would we build a brand? Through research. Branding communicates values and quality to the consumer and differentiates a product or service from others. Cortland County Agriculture had a branding campaign in the past titled Local to the Core, but it had failed. Until recently, there were no apple orchards in Cortland County. This demonstrated how lack of research leads to unsuccessful content. Little did I know that ultimately, the actual creation of the branding content for the final product would be the smallest task as it all came down to the research, which I truly learned the importance of this summer. So I spent a majority of the internship conducting market research, both by reading as well as talking to customers, farmers, and market owners to uncover the answer to several different key questions that I mentioned earlier. First, I took the, to the internet for academic research portion of the project, learning about how successful brands are built and what had been done in the past to brand agriculture products. Once I had built a solid foundation of knowledge on the topic, I was ready for the next layer that would ground the brand, the market research, for which I traveled to Cortland for the week to speak face to face and gather this crucial information. And here you can see just a few examples of a local campaign that was done in a different county and some other research that um, I came across. Speaking with com the community members for my project who would be directly benefiting from the initiative was an invaluable experience and truly my favorite part of the summer. Before making my way to Cortland, I prepared for the week by building a list of interview questions to ask market owners, farmers, and customers, a skill I had developed from my research message communication course here at Cornell. For the market owners, I wanted to find out what messaging do they use to make their products stand out? Why do they think customers purchase their products? For consumers, I tried to uncover who the typical customers were, what were their core values for purchasing local, and if not, where else do they go and why do they go elsewhere? Here are two pictures of markets I had visited during my time in Cortland. I stationed myself at these markets essentially stalking the customers until they were walking out of the store, approached them, and with my friendliest, non-manipulative smile, asked if they wouldn't mind answering just a few quick questions. For this, I used the laddering technique, a strategy for uncovering one's values by continuing to ask them questions, following up on each answer they provided, similar to the way a curious child questions every answer they are given, wanting to delve deeper. Possibly annoying for the interviewee, but if done successfully, great for the interviewer. Lastly, for the farmers, similar to the market owners, I want to learn about their messaging, what they felt made their products stand out against competitors, and what needs did their local goods fulfill for the customer. From these interviews, I could build a marketing mix for Cortland County products, which is essentially the price, place, product, promotion, and people for the company that we consider to be Cortland County Agriculture. After market research came competitor research. Aldi, Tops, Walmart, and Price Chopper were the five identified competitors, and we needed to know how, these were, how they were branding their products and what advantages these products provided to the customers. Again, this was used to build a marketing mix table for each of the competitors with their price, place, product, promotion, and people. And as you can see, I visited these different supermarkets, taking pictures of the prices that they were offering to try to get a better idea of the competitor landscape. You're probably getting the idea about now. 
research, research, and more research. <laughs> but finally, this research could be used to build the brand. Here are the common values expressed by the consumers. The goal of a brand was to gain a greater share of the customer segment that was already, already purchasing locally by leveraging the values we had uncovered. Top ones included supporting the work of the farmer, supporting the local economy, freshness, and knowing food origin. And this was a table we had created that went into the final report of the project. We also looked to identify the target consumers, which we found to be between the ages of 25 and 40 with an undergraduate degree, and then delved a little further to find out what the characteristics of this typical consumer were. To conclude my summer, we created a positioning statement from the unique selling propositions that were discovered. Essentially, unique selling propositions are what stands out to the customer about the local products, which we incorporated into this overall statement. We also created possible brand names and slogans, all of which were based on the database of information I had collected from my research. And in addition to these brand names and taglines, I ended with some branding recommendations for the future, um, other markets that Cortland can, can look into targeting, as well as creating standards for the products in addition to labeling techniques, all of which were based off of the research. While I had never specifically created a branding package prior to this summer, given that research was the foundation of the project, I was fully prepared to take on the task. Research has been a theme throughout all my communication courses and something that is stressed and covered by all of our professors. Every concept we have learned about, every communication technique we have practiced, every campaign analyzed, our professors have boiled it down to the research behind the product and building a branding campaign was no different. Ultimately, the key takeaway was that behind all content produced by an organization, there must be thorough and in-depth research conducted to support decisions. Communication strategies are not built from random creative ideas, but thoughtful and logical creative ideas. And guess how you test the success of a brand? With more research. <laughs> And with that, I wanted to say thank you to Professor Shambliss and my supervisor, Dana Havas, at the CCE for um, creating this amazing experience that I was so grateful to have and learned so much from. Thank you. Thank you.